important move by the Food and Drug Administration for the thousands of women who say their breast implants are making them sick. They're holding meetings to listen to their concerns and examine new research. CBS 2 Morning Insider Vince Gerasoli sits down with a Barrington woman who says it's about time. <laughs> Amanda Savage Brown, a psychological counselor, is comfortably at work. Her years of compromised health are now a memory. I um, started to have a really, really painful uh, experience in my arms that was literally a disability. She says the pain slowed what was an active physical and family life, pain that went away after the removal of a pair of breast implants. I could not pick up anything. I couldn't move blankets off of my body at night. I couldn't open the shower door. It was so horrible. I never in a million years thought it was related to my implants. Savage Brown is among the tens of thousands of women with implants who have connected on Facebook globally, sharing their stories of fatigue, pain, headaches, sweats, and severe breakouts. Struggles they say are brushed off by many doctors. Do you feel the medical community pays enough attention to this? No, they don't at all. It's, it's a joke. But the Food and Drug Administration may now be listening. In a statement released earlier this month, the agency admitted that a small number of patients may have biological responses to certain types of materials in implantable or insertable devices, and they're now willing to examine more research. Being a scientist, I felt like I was running an experiment. An unrelated cancer scare had Savage Brown removing her implants. That is what was inside me. But it she kept an open mind to a possible improvement in her physical condition. I didn't go into it thinking that that's what I had, that was my explanation. It's just completely cracked. Within weeks, the pain left her arms and the changes continued. I started to see that my stamina was back and that I was able to do things all day for long periods. I feel completely different now. That must be wonderful. It is. I have no regrets at all. No regrets. Well, I do. I regret getting them in in the first place. In Barrington, Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. Implant makers are also taking part in this week's FDA meetings.